Hello there. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, gungans, droids, candy, booty, coneheads, and all the deflection lovers out there. Come on in. I want to talk about something. Let's have a wee little bit of a chat, shall we? There's a little bit of spice going on this weekend, and I really want to share my thoughts. Now that the rage is dialed down a little bit, if you want to know what's going on, let me give you the short sum of it where we're at right now. Well, we had good old deflection data crimes the other day, which, by the way, I was trying to just deal with it, you know, just get gooder. And it was like, all right, they have deflection. I'm going to give so much of special accuracy so I can overcome it. And it did a whole lot of nothing. Too many evasions that just threw off all my usual plans. And let's just say, ah, I got a little bit flavorful <laughs> get the hell out of here man just get the hell out of here bro are you really gonna sit there and freaking freaking chuckle in the background you're part of the problem if you think deflection deserves being the game you are part of the problem my friend you should be convincing CJ not to add these bullcrap mechanics to the game. Ooh, didn't bring, bring, just, literally I, I, I don't do this very rarely but screw you because let me tell you games like this certain behaviors we need to not accept and urge capital games in this situation to not do and i feel like at times we get too complacent some people and we'll accept any of the bsery that doesn't deserve to be in video games well because i don't want this game to end up like the sister game to galaxy heroes lord of the rings heroes middle earth which uh yeah as we're gonna kind of briefly describe it's basically in a nice way saying it it's in a coma with signs of dying you know so it's not a good spot and i don't want this game to be in that situation but let's get some memes pumped up here first please sir but i wanted more quality of life updates oh the gifted uh the gifted packs here here <laughs> cg yeah again i love how they they, they hype this up big time making it seem like it was like the most like requested thing even though it wasn't but it makes sense it's a smart move on their part and i made a little meme myself the other day people are gonna be like yeah i'm free to play look at all my galactic legends i got them in a year but you know the secret's gonna be having people buy you those light speed bundles because you're technically free to play still <laughs> here me two weeks from now i am really excited to finally unlock dark bean as well as many other people it's gonna be a fun 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 time but as we have here let's uh, let's get ready for all the gungan feats that are gonna happen remember when mandalorians are starting to become a thing and we just saw mandalorians mandalorians for months before they were even good so let's get chit chatting here everybody about the deflection data crown listen uh, yeah the, the, the things that people argue for data crowns i'm with you guys people often misinterpret my opinion same thing of lord vader like I, people misinterpret what i'm saying or maybe they hear it for their hearsay third parties and the message doesn't get clear the court thing some of the core things about data crowns i agree with i like seasonal power i think it's kind of cool keeps things fresh and interesting but obviously the big drawback is number one the stats and number two the fact that there's gonna be so many haves and have nots i was always a fan of seasonal power where everyone just gets it like in the old school territories or how marvel strike the forces where certain rooms get certain bonuses for certain factions and characters i'm all for that but all of a sudden when you have someone that's gonna have a high deflection rate but the other person wasn't lucky to get a high deflection rate that's when i really draw the line and this is trash however we got some people that are accepting it and just saying, get gooder. And I want to really dispel that here with my Carthonasi reinforcing ability and just, uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm coming up to Carthonasi, to Cassian Ewing, doing the mass buff this spell because I love this game. And people seem to forget that the same studio that's making this game, their other game that they just released is, oh, pretty much everyone thinks it's a sign of death. I'm not willing to call it that. It's definitely in a coma right now. So just because this studio makes Galaxers doesn't mean they necessarily know how to make a proper mobile game. Because remember, the people that made Galaxers, the heart, the passion, the soul, the brains, they're pretty much gone at this point. There's not, a, pretty much so, to what I understand, there's not really any of the original team that made the game that had the true passion. I mean, this is the studio originally, the, the founders of Galaxers, they had the audacity, the courage to kind of gut check themselves and roll back features that the community wasn't too keen on. Like, remember when mods first came out? For those that weren't here, mods were so crazy powerful. People did not like how drastically they changed the game. And the developers heard it, rolled it back, and instead incrementally brought in mods over time. And we still haven't even hit the full power that the original mods launched in 2016. It was all about 47% health on a five dot arrow in 2016 we can't even hit that in our game right now and it was wild for other stats out there too so that's just one example that we have i think there was another example somewhere here where tenacity yeah look 
where tenacity was 47 percent out of non six <laughs> cross so it's pretty broken and to this day i still give credit kudos to developers who again put the player over money and unfortunately i don't think the studio that's there now whatever filled in the filled in the skeleton i don't think they're putting the player over money and i get it i have nothing wrong but against the game wanting to make money I, i'm happy for the fact that galaxy has made over two billion dollars at this point you know sell the characters whatever but there comes a point where we need to draw a line and i feel like there are just some people in the community who just don't want to draw the line they'll defend every single little thing and i remember this of lord of the rings heroes middle earth i criticized a lot of them. i didn't like the art design i thought the, the monetization was absolutely horrendous the gameplay was bland the sound design of people like oh you're just hating just to hate and now all of a sudden there's been no communication heroes of Middle Earth. like literally developers disappeared since december there's no logging calendars there's no more packs being sold for cash so i don't want our game to end up like that and the fact of the matter is the game is still here because it's star wars and we have a a pretty large degree of acceptance <laughs> A uh, for punishment i should say because we love star wars so much and this is where it comes down to this, this is not just my opinion again i, I i'm accepting the fact that data crowns are here to stay i don't think we're gonna have a moment of uh, enlightenment from our developers where they're like you know what we gotta roll things back all i'm really asking for here and i think many other people if data crowns need to be here of course we would rather them not have relic gates we would like for them not to have this crazy RNG, the crazy stats. All I'm asking for at the minimum, just some sort of like bare minimum guidelines. Keep the deflection, keep the dodge out. We should not accept this as a gaming community. For some reason, we have people in this game, they'll accept pretty much any punishment from CJ. Oh, and they'll defend it to the point where it turns out to be like Lord of the Rings. Here, we're making no money and developers appear in the games in shambles. We don't want that for our game. I mean, imagine. This doesn't get coverage in other areas of the world because it's a mobile game. No one really cares about this type of game that we're playing right now. But imagine, imagine Call of Duty. They implemented a stat where as you're shooting someone point blank, there's just a random chance a bullet's just going to miss entirely by design, not by glitches or bugs. People would be infuriated. It'd be gaming news headlines. Imagine a racing game where there's this 30 percent chance your steering wheel just gonna completely jerk and you go into a wall that's not skill it's just not plain and simple but you know what the abilities like unique abilities you know like ray for example she was kind of difficult for star killer to beat with the previous data crimes because they were just actual innate abilities that just made it difficult for star killer to win with like with the mechanic that would allow them to stack up defense okay that's an actual challenge obstacle to work around to understand so taking it back into context like the racing game for example instead of just having a random rng factor that would just turn your steering wheel jerk it to the right where you crash you instead add an extra barrier where the player has to navigate around it like a wall i don't know a freaking cat or dog in the middle of the road unfriendly player mechanic that doesn't put the player first when it comes to the gameplay that they have to engage in i mean let's just be honest no matter how you feel about data crons, i think it's almost a fact that data crons took away a lot of the steam the fire that made grand arena special grand arena was at its highest point pre data crons, and then literally data crons took the wind out of its sail where we have things like this where for people like, you know, Dr. So Little, it was the thing that broke the camel's back during the last round of JC against the Flexion Data Crown. Didn't rage or anything. <laughs> so you're a better person than I am. Just came to understand that this game is not fun anymore. Close the app and haven't opened it since. We don't, why do, we don't want things like this in the game. And then, but the problem is we have people like this and, you know, some other people's here, uh, some other people here, like we have this, for example. Let me just say this. I get not everyone likes me. But arguing against someone because this person assumed this person had the deflection opinion that, uh, that they have because of me. So they're like, I'm going to discredit you immediately. That's like the weakest form of argumentation. We need to get rid of this just as a society, as a collective, where we can get around that BS and just focus on the topic at hand. Should deflection dodge be in the game? All I'm asking for, I feel like there's a lot of things that go on in this game, but I feel like at the minimum, deflection should be in dodge should be like the bare minimum thing that we agree upon as a collective community not to accept. There are other ways to let their data crons do their thing, but deflection and dodge does not need to be in this game for whatever reason. And I know it's not the perfect analogy, just so we just boil it down to simple terms. When I, when I was <laughs> looking at this, it's like the Geneva Conventions. World War I was one of the most deadly, it was one of the deadliest wars in human civilization, right? 
And a lot of it was because of, you know, chemical warfare. And, you know, people are like, all right, we need to agree. We don't, we don't want this. The effects are absolutely detrimental. So they, they pretty much banned it. Again, I understand it's the mobile game. You know, okay, so again, don't make a straw man argument. You just uh, boil it down to simple principles at the minimum. In the combat, the warfare of Grand Arena, we need to kind of like be together as one a little bit more to urge Capital Games not to bring these back. We thought this was done for. They've had the dodge and deflection about a year plus ago. They didn't come back. We thought, all right, they got the message. For whatever reason, someone didn't get the message. I'm inclined to think it's someone from upper management that's making larger game design combat decisions. It's probably not the people that are making the game happen for you and me. But whoever's up this food chain making these decisions, just know I firmly believe you're contributing to the negative stigma that comes to mobile games or the bad things in gaming in general that people just don't want to see you're encouraging this behavior there are other ways to make your money other ways to make interesting gameplay design choices for the players that doesn't involve something as stupid as dodge and deflect that is the laziest form of combat it literally is in the game it's not a good look on you it makes it seem like you're lazy and you can't think of other interesting creative challenges and more importantly it makes you seem like you're trying to monetize the literal <laughs> the literal crumbling of the integrity that comes with competitive spirit is other ways to create this challenge not through dodge not through deflection because the other issue is unlike reading an ability and you can see they're stacking defense or there's some sort of turn meter mechanic you can kind of quantify that it's kind of hard to quantify a 30 50 plus percent deflection and then you're trying to bring some special accuracy and you're thinking you're canceling it out but it really doesn't that's not an interesting challenge. There are other ways, again, to go about this. Like, yeah, here's another one. I like the idea of data crowns, and I'm there with you. Although not the execution. I would love if they used them to just boost off meta teams. So anyways, I'm going to kind of just wrap it up here. Again, data crowns are here to stay. And despite people's opinions, if I, if I don't wail on something, that means it's going to go away entirely. It's entirely false. It's still here. There are people that do wail on it. We do see it. And, you know, if they're enjoying it, cool. One thing I try not to do is, <laughs> you know, target my frustration towards the people that are engaging with it because they're just playing by the rules. We're, we're all in a prisoner's dilemma situation with this game, and CG knows. They take advantage of the fact that we're such an awesome community. We love Star Wars. I get that we're more accepting of punishment because it's a Star Wars game, but that doesn't give CG the right to do these things, especially to the Star Wars franchise. Create interesting challenges, engaging combat decisions, and most importantly, with a game and something that's not just a Galaxy Heroes, but other games out there, games that aren't focusing on the player experience first. And I believe the way Capital Games is run, and again, Lord of the Rings Heroes Middle Earth is a perfect example for those that love Capital Games, they mishandled Lord of the Rings Heroes Middle Earth, plain and simple, because they didn't put the player first at the end of the day all i'm asking for at the end of the day data crons yes i agree with some aspects but i disagree with aspects like dodge deflection at the minimum we should kind of agree as a community if data crons are here creating all these interesting things which i agree with get rid of at the minimum dodge and deflection thank you guys for listening to my rant you know if i'm wrong just tell me down below if you honestly think dodge deflection belongs in the game just, hey listen just say it just say it i could be wrong Maybe my older, you know, mentality of how Galaxy Heroes should be. Maybe it's irrelevant. Maybe we should have dodge deflection. Maybe that's the new interesting way of making games. I could be wrong. Tell me, please. One thing I try to do is I try to be open to other ideas and criticisms to make me a better person. But man, dodge deflection, that's going to that's gonna require a lot of convincing <laughs> for me to be. A I love you guys. Thanks for ho hopping on with me. Enjoy your weekend. And more importantly, it's great to be in the, the empire, empire today. today of how to ruin your game 101. Twas the night before a new Datacron set, before things went south. Everybody was happy, even Arnold's loudmouth. But then a developer's brain has left the lodge and thought to themselves, why don't we bring back Dodge? We think being able to play is sort of lame, but really all we want is to hear Arnold say, FIX YOUR GAME!